However, the planned big rally suffered severe setback few days to the big day. Police declined to license the rally. But it was too late in the day given that communication was not that effective as of today. They did not acknowledge, they did not reject, they did nothing. And then we had our machinery with our friends all over the country announced that on the 7th of July there will be a rally at Kamukunji crowd. The coordination was Kenya wide. People are coming from everywhere to come here. And then, just before the 7th, about the 5th, 6th, we had not received any reply. And our political approach then was we do not want to give the government reason to arrest us. So we, on the 5th or 6th, I think, we issued a very quick notice. We have not received the permit yet, so the meeting is cancelled. That evening, 4th of July 1990, three luminaries, Kenneth Matiba, Charles Rubia and Raila Odinga were arrested and thrown into detention. They started to basically send signals to intimidate the people. One morning I went to my office, I found the uh, three police officers sitting at the door, the entrance into my office, uh, the fifth floor Ajib house. And then I passed them, I went in. They came in and then told me that, look, uh, we don't want you to fear. Uh, nothing is going to happen to you. All that we have been asked to do is to ensure that um, Matiba and Rubia do not come here to see you was a member of Mosaika Country Club Management Committee. So I went from the embassy, went to my office, and then I went to Mosaika for the meeting of the club. And that was where I was picked up, 4th July 1990. That was my detention. The following day, I went to my office, and then um, all of a sudden there were police officers I asked them, am I under arrest? They said, well, no, but uh, we needed uh, there urgently. This. So I knew, of course, straight away their mission. So I accompanied them. And when I arrived there, um, there was nothing really to be told. I was um, just uh, taken into another Land Rover and taken to uh, Langata police station. And then uh, from Langata, I was, I was kept there until midnight. Then brought back to the same office where the officer in charge then uh, served me with the detention order. All the three detainees were affected by the extreme conditions in prison. And after nine months, they were released in April 1991, when their health deteriorated. And I started having a goiter. You know a goiter? Goiter is something that comes out here. But for mine, it decided to go in. When I was telling them that I was not feeling well, they would not do anything. It took a long time, because all this side was paining. And, and they were doing nothing until one time they saw that, so it was this side. This, my palm here, was completely dark. And I had um, growth in the whole of my arm here. Swellings, swellings all, all over the place. Then they saw that I was running the risk of losing Hold my hand. That emboldened opposition's push for multi-party and a second Saba Saba rally was convened for July 7th, 1991. Just like the inaugural one, police declined to license the 1991 rally as well. The night before we went to Kamkunji, uh, there, were, there was a police operation in, in which a lot of people were arrested, Jeramogi, 
was arrested at midnight, uh, made to sleep somewhere in Kasarani police station and then flown to Bondo. Uh, and then there were people who were arrested earlier, uh, like Gitobu Imanyara, uh, quite a number of activists. We managed to seek refuge in the house of uh, a friend of mine who was uh, then uh, a political officer in the Zimbabwe in the High Commission. I went and looked for Paul. Paul came over, Paul Buinte. We went, got Muliro. We couldn't get Shikuku. We were with Joe again. Uh, in the morning, we had to fetch Shikuku because he had taken refuge in the uh, First Secretary's house, uh, First Secretary of the United States of America. So we congregated somewhere in Kileleshwa. Because Matiba and the others had been detained, some of us escaped very narrowly, but we decided to continue with the struggle. And that's why we said we would go to Kamukoji again in November of 1991. And I must concede, we in those days got a lot of assistance from the German people, the German government, Sweden, and above all, the United States of America, Smith Hempstone. He was the right man at the right place, at the right time. And therefore, we, 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 we succeeded. We changed the trajectory in which Kenya was moving, and no one will ever succeed in taking it back to that trajectory. Several politicians were again arrested and thrown into detention. <laughs> The 1991 Saba Saba rally marking the turning point in Kenyan politics. So it's a government of liars, yeah. cowards, and they should face the opposition. What are you going to do now? No, of Tell course, we'll keep on Tell agitating, watch. and we are going to keep watch, this keep watch. The only way to deal with more is keep facing head-on. We kill a more than and an emotion. I would have been emotional kwa sababu mambo ambayo yametachwa kwangu hakuna kati yenu hata moja ambayo angeweza kusimama hata wakati mwingine kusema moyo ameua nina moyo mtu na uweza kupanga kuua mtu kwa njia gani a big meeting took place and a lot of people were killed that is when i said earlier and i repeat again that actually was the turning point of multi-party because people came all over and I think Moi and his government felt shaken. Now Raila was detained I think two days later. What really broke the Kamala back first was the Saba Saba of 1990 when uh, uh, after we had been arrested and taken in, the people still defied the order which had been issued by the government and came, came out in large numbers and marched to Kamkunji. That was the first challenge to the authoritarian state uh, of the day. Because things became very hot, and the party, even Moi and his current government, became shaken. And Moi, Moi is a clever politician. Don't under, underestimate him. Uh, he decided, let us change this to a. In December 1991, Kanu Party, under the leadership of then President Daniel Torotich Arap Moi, made the biggest political announcement that caught many by surprise. To Fungwe, Mundo in a section, Yakatiba, Kenya, ya 2A. And just as President Moy had warned that multi-party democracy would breed ground for negative and divisive ethnicity, the reality struck. Kama unasaliti iji yako kwa pesa, mwishowe, mutaka ngana, mutapikana, mutafanya ya lambayo, hamu kuwajiriwa na wanaiji. Ufanya. Mwafrika ni ngumu. Kijwa ngumu. The issue of ethnicity uh, reared its head 
which wasn't there when we were fighting for the second liberation, and which we knew retired President Moi had used very effectively to hold on to power. Mwai Kibaki, who never participated in the second liberation, soon as Section 2A was repealed, he forgot about the Mugumo tree and the razor blade and formed his own party. Okay? Then, my dear friend Matiba, who we had agreed, let's leave it to Jaraboy because of his contribution from before 63. Again, uh, was prevailed upon by members of my own community to say no, 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 no. <laughs> Duncan Hemba, KTN, The Untold Story.